The Ambrosian Rite, also called the Milanese Rite, is a Catholic Western liturgical rite. The rite is named after Saint Ambrose, a bishop of Milan in the 4th century. The Ambrosian Rite, which differs from the Roman Rite, is used by some 5 million Catholics in the greater part of the Archdiocese of Milan, Italy excluding, notably, the areas of Monza, Treviglio, Trezzo Sullata and a few other parishes, in some parishes of the Diocese of Como, Bergamo, Novara, Lodi and in about 50 parishes of the Diocese of Lugano, in the canton Ticino, Switzerland. Although at various points in its history the distinctive Ambrosian Rite has risked suppression, it survived and was reformed after the Second Vatican Council partly because Pope Paul VI belonged to the Ambrosian Rite, having previously been Archbishop of Milan. In the 20th century, it also gained prominence and prestige from the attentions of two other scholarly archbishops of Milan, Achille Ratti, later Pope Pius XI, and the Blessed Ildefonso Schuster, both of whom had been involved in studies and publications on the right before their respective appointments. History There is no direct evidence that the rite was in any way the composition of St. Ambrose, but his name has been associated with it since the 8th century at least. It is probable that in his day it took a form which included the principal characteristics distinguishing it from other rites but has since been subject to various revisions from time to time. St. Ambrose succeeded the Arian Bishop Oxentius of Milan, during whose long episcopate 355 it would seem probable but unverified that Arian modifications may have been introduced into a rite the period of whose original composition is unknown. It would be sufficient cause to attach St. Ambrose's name to the rite if St. Ambrose expunged these hypothetical unorthodoxies and issued corrected service books, according to St. Augustine Confessones, Ix, v, and Paulinus the Deacon Vita S. Ambrosi, Section 13, St. Ambrose introduced innovations, not indeed into the Mass, but into what would seem to be the Divine Office, at the time of his contest with the Empress Justina for the Portion Basilica, which she claimed for the Arians. Saint Ambrose filled the church with Catholics and kept them there night and day until the peril was passed. And he arranged psalms and hymns for them to sing, as Saint Augustine says, Secundum morum orientalium partium ne populus meroris tedio contabasherit, after the manner of the Orientals, lest the people should languish in cheerless monotony, and of this Paulinus the deacon says, Hoc in tempore primum antiphonae, himi, et vigiliae in ecclesia mediolanensi celebrari coeperunt, cujus celebritatis devotio usque in hodiernum diem non solum in idem ecclesia verum per omnes pin occidentis provincias manae. Now for the first time antiphons, hymns, and vigils began to be part of the observance of the church in Milan, which devout observance lasts to our day not only in that church but in nearly every province of the West, from the time of St. Ambrose, whose hymns are well known and whose liturgical allusions may certainly be explained as referring to a rite which possessed the characteristics of that which is called by his name, until the period of Charlemagne circa AD 800, there is a gap in the history of the Milanese rite. However, St. Simplician, the successor of St. Ambrose, added much to the rite and St. Lazarus 438 introduced the three days of the litanies, Cantu, Milano e il suo territorio, I, 116. The Church of Milan underwent various vicissitudes and for a period of some 80 years 570 during the Lombard conquests, the sea was moved to Genoa in Liguria. In the 8th century, manuscript evidence begins. In a short treatise on the various cursus entitled, Ratio de cursus qui fuerent ex octors, sic in cot. Manuscripts, Nero A2, in the British Museum, written about the middle of the 8th century, probably by an Irish monk in France, is found perhaps the earliest attribution of the Milan used to St. Ambrose, though it quotes the authority of St. Augustine, probably alluding to the passage already mentioned. Est et alus cursus quem refert Beatus Augustinus Episcopus quad Beatus Ambrosius propter hereticorum ordinem de similem composut quem in Italia antia de cantabator. There is yet another cursus which the Blessed Bishop Augustine says that the Blessed Ambrose composed because of the existence of a different use of the heretics, which previously used to be sung in Italy. According to a narrative of Landolfus Sr., the 11th century chronicler of Milan, Charlemagne attempted to abolish the Ambrosian Rite, as he or his father, Pepin the Short, had abolished the Gallican Rite in France, in favor of a Gallicanized Roman Rite. 
He sent to Milan and caused to be destroyed or sent beyond the mountain, quasi in exilium as if into exile, all the Ambrosian books which could be found. Eugenius the bishop, transmontane bishop, as Landulf calls him, begged him to reconsider his decision. After the manner of the time, an ordeal, which reminds one of the celebrated trials by fire and by battle in the case of Alfonso VI and the Mozarabic Rite, was determined on. Two books, Ambrosian and Roman, were laid closed upon the altar of St. Peter's Church in Rome and left for three days, and the one which was found open was to win. They were both found open, and it was resolved that as God had shown that one was as acceptable as the other, the Ambrosian Rite should continue. But the destruction had been so far effective that no Ambrosian books could be found, save one missal which a faithful priest had hidden for six weeks in a cave in the mountains. Therefore the Manuale was written out from memory by certain priests and clerks Landulf, Cron, 10-13. Walifredus Strabo, who died abbot of Reichenau in 849, and must therefore have been nearly, if not quite, contemporary with this incident, says nothing about it, but de rebus ecclesiasticis, XXII, speaking of various forms of the Mass, says. Ambrosius quoque mediolanensis episcopus tam missa quam catarorum dispositionum officiorum suae ecclesia et elise liguribus ordinavit, quae et usque hodi in mediolanensi tenentor ecclesia. Ambrose, Bishop of Milan, also arranged a ceremonial for the Mass and other offices for his own church and for other parts of Liguria, which is still observed in the Milanese church. In the 11th century, Pope Nicholas II, who in 1060 had tried to abolish the Mozarabic Rite, wished also to attack the Ambrosian, and was aided by St. Peter Damian, but he was unsuccessful, and Pope Alexander II, his successor, himself a Milanese, reversed his policy in this respect. Saint Gregory VII made another attempt, and Le Brun Explication de la Messa, 3, Art. I, Section 8 conjectures that Landulf's miraculous narrative was written with a purpose about that time. Having weathered these storms, the Ambrosian Rite had peace for some three centuries and a half. In the first half of the 15th century Cardinal Branda da Castiglione, who died in 1448, was legate in Milan. As part of his plan for reconciling Filippo Maria Visconti, Duke of Milan, and the Holy See, he endeavoured to substitute the Roman Rite for the Ambrosian. The result was a serious riot, and the Cardinal's legateship came to an abrupt end. After that the Ambrosian Rite was safe until the Council of Trent. The rule of that council, that local uses which could show a prescription of two centuries might be retained, saved Milan, not without a struggle, from the loss of its right, and St. Charles Borromeo though he made some alterations in a Roman direction, was most careful not to destroy its characteristics. A small attempt made against it by a governor of Milan who had obtained a permission from the Pope to have the Roman Mass said in any church which he might happen to attend, was defeated by St. Charles, and his own revisions were intended to do little more than was inevitable in a living rite. Since his time the temper of the Milan church has been most conservative, and the only alterations in subsequent editions seem to have been slight improvements in the wording of rubrics and in the arrangement of the books. The district in which the Ambrosian Rite is used is nominally the old archiepiscopal province of Milan before the changes of 1515 and 1819, but actually it is not exclusively used even in the city of Milan itself. In parts of the Swiss canton of Ticino it is used, in other parts the Roman Rite is so much preferred that it is said that when Cardinal Geisruck tried to force the Ambrosian upon them the inhabitants declared that they would be either Roman or Lutheran. There are traces also of the use of the Ambrosian Rite beyond the limits of the province of Milan. In 1132-34, two Augustinian canons of Ratisbon, Paul, said by Baumer to be Paul of Bernaried, and Gebehard, held a correspondence printed by Mabillon in his Musium Italicum from the originals in the Cathedral Library at Milan with Anselm, Archbishop of Milan, and Martin, Treasurer of St. Ambrose, with a view of obtaining copies of the books of the Ambrosian Rite, so that they might introduce it into their church. In the 14th century the Emperor Charles IV introduced the Rite into the Church of St. Ambrose at Prague. Traces of it, mixed with the Roman, are said by Hoyink, Geschichte der Kirchel. Liturgy des Bistums Augsburg to have remained in the Diocese of Augsburg down to its last breviary of 1584, and according to Catina Cantu, Milano e il suo territorio, 118 the use of Capua in the time of St. Charles Borromeo had some resemblance to that of Milan. Recent history 
Important editions of the Ambrosian Missal were issued in 1475, 1594, 1609, 1902 and 1954. The last of these was the final edition in the form of the Ambrosian Rite that preceded the Second Vatican Council, and is now used mainly in the Church of San Rocco al Gentilino in Milan. Following the guidelines of the Second Vatican Council and the preliminary revisions of the Ordinary of the Mass of the Roman Rite, a new bilingual Latin and Italian edition of the Ambrosian Missal was issued in 1966, simplifying the 1955 Missal, mainly in the prayers the priest said inaudibly and in the genuflections, and adding the prayer of the faithful. The Eucharistic prayer continued to be said in Latin until 1967. The altars were moved to face the people. When the Mass of Paul VI was issued in 1969, most Ambrosian Rite priests began to use the new Roman Missal only omitting the Agnus Dei, the Roman Lectionary, and the general Roman Calendar with its four-week advent. The Ambrosian form of administering the other sacraments was for the most part already identical with the Roman. This made it uncertain whether the Ambrosian Rite would survive. But in promulgating the documents of the 46th Diocesan Synod (1966–1973), Cardinal Archbishop Giovanni Colombo, supported by Pope Paul VI, a former Archbishop of Milan, finally decreed that the Ambrosian Rite, brought into line with the directives of the Second Vatican Council, should be preserved. Work still in progress began on all the Ambrosian liturgical texts. On the 11th of April 1976 Cardinal Colombo published the new Ambrosian Missal, covering the whole liturgical year. Later in the same year an experimental lectionary appeared, covering only some liturgical seasons, and still following the Roman Rite lectionary for the rest. Minor modifications of the Ambrosian Missal were implemented in 1978, restoring for example the place of the creed in the Mass, and the new Ambrosian Rite for funerals was issued. The Ambrosian Missal also restored two early medieval Ambrosian Eucharistic prayers, unusual for placing the epiclesis after the words of institution, in line with Oriental use. In 1984–1985 the new Ambrosian Liturgy of the Hours was published, and in 2006 the new Ambrosian Rite of Marriage. On 20 March 2008 the new Ambrosian Lectionary, superseding the 1976 experimental edition, and covering the whole liturgical year, was promulgated, coming into effect from the first Sunday of Advent 2008, the 16th of November 2008. It is based on the ancient Ambrosian liturgical tradition, and contains in particular, a special rite of light, Lucernarium and proclamation of the resurrection of Jesus, for use before the Saturday evening celebration of the Mass of the Sunday, seen as the weekly Easter. Pope John Paul II celebrated Mass in Milan using the Ambrosian Rite in 1983, as did Pope Francis in 2017. Origin <inaudible> 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 The origin of the Ambrosian Rite is still under discussion, and at least two conflicting theories are held by leading liturgiologists. The decision is not made easier by the absence of any direct evidence as to the nature of the Rite before about the 9th century. There are, it is true, allusions to various services of the Milanese Church in the writings of St. Augustine and St. Ambrose, and in the anonymous treatise, De Sacramentis which used to be attributed to the latter, but is not his, but these allusions are naturally enough insufficient for more than vague conjecture, and have been used with perhaps equal justification in support of either side of the controversy. Even if the rather improbable story of Landulf is not to be believed, the existing manuscripts, which only take us back at the earliest to the period of Charlemagne, leave the question of his influence open. This much we may confidently affirm, that though both the Missal and the Breviary have been subjected from time to time to various modifications, often, as might be expected, in a Roman direction, the changes are singularly few and unimportant, and the Ambrosian Rite of today is substantially the same as that represented in the early manuscripts. Indeed, since some of these documents come from places in the Alpine valleys, such as Biasca, Lodrino, Venegono and elsewhere, while the modern rite is that of the Metropolitan Cathedral and the churches of the city of Milan, some proportion of the differences may well turn out to be local rather than chronological developments. The arguments of the two principal theories are necessarily derived in a great measure from the internal evidence of the books themselves, and at present the end of the controversy is not in sight. The question resolves itself into this, is the Ambrosian Rite archaic Roman, or a much Romanized form of the Gallican Rite? And this question is mixed with that of the provenance of the Gallican Rite itself. 
Some liturgiologists of a past generation, notably J. M. Neal and others from the Anglican tradition, referred the Hispano-Gallican and Celtic family of liturgies to an original imported into Provence from Ephesus in Asia Minor by St. Irenaeus, who had received it through St. Polycarp from St. John the Divine. The name Ephesine was applied to this liturgy, and it was sometimes called the Liturgy of St. John. The idea was not modern. Coleman, at the Synod of Whitby in 664, attributed the Celtic rule of Easter to St. John, and in the curious little 8th-century treatise already mentioned in Cot. Manuscript Nero A2 one finds, Johannes Evangelista primum cursus galorum decantivit. Ind postia beatus polycarpus discipulus si iohannis. Ind postia hyronius qui fuit eps lugdunensis gallae. Tertius ipse ipsum cursum decantaurunt sic in galleys. The author is not speaking of the liturgy, but of the divine office, but that does not affect the question, and the theory, which had its obvious controversial value, was at one time very popular with Anglicans. Neil considered that the Ambrosian rite was a Romanized form of this Hispano Gallican, or Ephesine rite. He never brought much evidence for this view, being generally contented with stating it and giving a certain number of not very convincing comparisons with the Mozarabic rite. Essays on Liturgiology, ed. 1867, 171 197. But Neil greatly exaggerated the Romanizing effected by St. Charles Borromeo, and his essay on the Ambrosian liturgy is somewhat out of date, though much of it is of great value as an analysis of the existing rite. W. C. Bishop, in his article on the Ambrosian Breviary Church Q, October, 1886, takes up the same line as Neil in claiming a Gallican origin for the Ambrosian divine office, but Louis de Chesney in his Origines du culte chrétien put forward a theory of origin which works out very clearly, though it is almost all founded on conjecture and a priori reasoning. He rejects entirely the Ephesine supposition, and considers that the Orientalisms which he recognizes in the Hispano-Gallican rite are of much later origin than the period of St. Irenaeus, and that it was from Milan as a center that a rite, imported or modified from the East, perhaps by the Cappadocian Arian bishop Oxentius the predecessor of St. Ambrose, gradually spread to Gaul, Spain, and Britain. He lays great stress on the important position of Milan as a northern metropolis, and on the intercourse with the east by way of Achilleia and Illyria, as well as on the eastern nationality of many of the bishops of Milan. In his analysis of the Gallican Mass, Duchesne assumes that the 7th century Bobbio Sacramentary Bibl. Nat. 13246, though not actually Milanese, is to be counted as a guide to early Ambrosian usages, and makes use of it in the reconstruction of the primitive rite before, according to his theory, it was so extensively Romanized as it appears in the earliest undeniably Ambrosian documents. He also appears to assume that the usages mentioned in the letter of Saint Innocent I to Decentius of Eugubium as differing from those of Rome were necessarily common to Milan and Gubbio. Paul Leger has adopted this theory in his article in the Revue de Histoire et Literature Religieuses, 2, 173, and in Dom Cabral's Dictionnaire d'Archéologie Chrétienne et de Liturgie, S. V. Ambrosian, writ, the other theory, of which Antonio Maria Seriani and Magistretti are the most distinguished exponents, maintains that the Ambrosian rite has preserved the pre Gelasian and pre Gregorian form of the Roman rite. Seriani supports his contention by many references to early writers and by comparisons of early forms of the Roman ordinary with the Ambrosian. Both sides admit the self-evident fact that the canon in the present Ambrosian Mass is a variety of the Roman canon. Neither has explained satisfactorily how and when it got there. The borrowings from the Greek service books have been ably discussed by Cajun Palaeography Musicale, v, but there are Greek loans in the Roman books also, though, if de Chesney's theory of origin is correct, some of them may have travelled by way of the Milanese Gallican rite at the time of the Charlemagne revision. There are evident Gallicanisms in the Ambrosian rite, but so there are in the present Roman, and the main outlines of the process by which they arrived in the latter are sufficiently certain, though the dates are not. The presence of a very definite post sanctus of undoubted Hispano Gallican form in the Ambrosian Mass of Easter Eve requires more explanation than it has received, and the whole question of provenance is further complicated by a theory, into which Seriani does not enter, of a Roman origin of all the Latin liturgical rites, Gallican, Celtic, Mozarabic, and Ambrosian alike. There are indications in his liturgical note to the Book of Cern and in The Genius of the Roman Rite. 
That Mr. Edmund Bishop, who, as far as he has spoken at all, prefers the conclusions, though not so much the arguments, of Seriani to either the arguments or conclusions of Duchesne, may eventually have something to say which will put the subject on a more solid basis. Topic. Differences from the Roman Rite Some features of the Ambrosian Rite distinguish it from the Roman Rite liturgy. Topic. Mass The main differences in the Mass are The principal celebrant blesses all the readers, not only the deacon. The Gospel is followed by a short antiphon. The general intercessions or prayers of the faithful immediately follow the homily. The rite of peace comes at the beginning of the liturgy of the Eucharist, before the offertory presentation of the gifts. The creed follows the offertory, before the prayer over the gifts. There are some differences between the first Eucharistic prayer of the Ambrosian Missal and the Roman Canon, the first in the Roman Missal, but its Eucharistic prayers 2, 3, and IV are the same as in the Roman Rite. In addition, the Ambrosian Rite has two proper Eucharistic prayers, used mainly on Easter and Holy Thursday. The priest breaks the host and places a piece in the main chalice before the Lord's Prayer, while an antiphon the confractorium is sung or recited. The Agnus Dei is not said. Before the final blessing, the people say three times Kyrie, eleison, Lord have mercy. At the end of the Mass, instead of, The Mass is ended, go in peace. The priest only says, Go in peace. Peope respond, In the name of Christ. The Ambrosian Rite has its own cycle of readings at Mass. Many of the prayers said by the priest during Mass are peculiar to the Ambrosian Rite, which has a particularly rich variety of prefaces. Topic. Liturgical year The main differences in the liturgical year are Advent has six weeks, not four. Lent starts four days later than in the Roman Rite, so that Ash Wednesday is postponed to a week later than in the Roman Rite, and Carnival continues until Sabato Grasso, Fat Saturday, in Italian, corresponding to Shrove Tuesday, called Mardi Gras, i.e., Fat Tuesday, in French, in areas where the Roman Rite is used. On Fridays in Lent, Mass is not celebrated and, with a few exceptions, communion is not distributed. Red, not the Roman Rite green, is the standard color of vestments from Pentecost to the third Sunday of October, and there are other differences in liturgical colors throughout the year. Topic. Other Other differences are The Liturgy of the Hours divine office or breviary is different in structure and in various features. The liturgical rites of the Holy Week are quite different. The rite of funerals is different. Baptism of infants is done by triple immersion of the head. The thurible has no top cover, and is swung clockwise before the sensing of a person or object. Ambrosian deacons wear the stole over the dalmatic and not under it. The Ambrosian cassock, buttoned with only five buttons below the neck, is held with a fascia at the waist, and is worn with a round white collar. Ambrosian chant is distinct from Gregorian chant. Early manuscripts The early manuscripts of the Ambrosian Rite are generally found in the following forms The Sacramentary contains the Orationes Super Populum, Prophecies, Epistles, Gospels, Orationes Super Syndonum, and Orationes Super Oblata, the prefaces and post-communions throughout the year, with the variable forms of the Communicantes and Hank Igator, when they occur, and the solitary post-Sanctus of Easter Eve, besides the ceremonies of Holy Week, etc., and the ordinary and canon of the Mass. There are often also occasional offices usually found in a modern ritual, such as baptism, the visitation and unction of the sick, the burial of the dead, and various benedictions. It is essentially a priest's book, like the Eucologian of the Greeks. The Psalter contains the Psalms and Canticles. It is sometimes included with the Manual. The Manual is nearly the complement of the Sacramentary and the Psalter as regards both the Mass and the Divine Office. 
It contains, for the divine office, the lucernaria, antiphons, responsoria, solenda, completoria, capitula, hymns, and other changeable parts, except the lessons, which are found separately. For the Mass, the ingresso, psalmello, verses, cantus, antiphono ante and post-evangelium, offertoria, confractoria, and transitoria. The manual often also contains occasional services such as are now usually found in a ritual. The antiphoner is a manual noted. The ritual and pontifical have contents similar to those of Roman books of the same name, though of course the early manuscripts are less ample. Topic. Sacramentaries and Missals The following are some of the most noted manuscripts of the rite. The Biosca Sacramentary, B.I.B.L. Ambrose, A24, Bis INF, late 9th or early 10th century. Described by Delisle. ANC SACR LXXI edited by Seriani in his Monumenta Sacra et Profana 8 the ordinary is analyzed and the canon given in full in Seriani's Notitia lit AMBR the Lodrino Sacramentary BIBL AMBR A24 INF 11th century Delisle ANC SACR LXXII. The Sacramentary of San Satiro, Milan, Treasury of Milan Cathedral, 11th century. Delisle. ANC. SACR. LXXIII. Sacramentary, Treasury of Milan Cathedral, 11th century. Delisle. ANC. SACR. LXXIV. The Sacramentary of Armio. Near the Lago Maggiore, Treasury of Milan Cathedral, 11th century. Delisle, ANC. SACR, LXXV. Sacramentary belonging to the Marchese Trotti, 11th century. Delisle, ANC. SACR. LXXVI. Sacramentary, BIBL. Ambrose, CXX, SUP, 11th century. Delisle, ANC. SACR. LXXVII. The Bergamo Sacramentary. Library of San Alessandro in Colonna, Bergamo, 10th or 11th century. Published by the Benedictines of Solsmas. Octarium Solsmans. To Mignas Patrologia. Series Liturgica. I. Sacramentary, Treasury of Monza Cathedral, 10th century. Delisle. ANC. SACR. LXV. Sacramentary of San Michele di Venegono Inferiore, near Varez, Treasury of Monza Cathedral, 11th century. Delisle. ANC. SACR. LXVIII. These two of Monza Cathedral are more fully described in Friese's Memory Storiche di Monza, 3, 75 77, 82 84. Missal Ambrosianum. Of Badero, near Luno, Bibl. AMBR, D, 87 INF, 12th century. Noted by Magistretti in Della Nuova Edizione Tipica del Messale Ambrosiano. Antiphoner Antiphoner, Antiphonarium Ambrosianum, British Museum, AD. Manuscripts, 34209, 12th century, published by the Benedictines of Solsmas, with a complete facsimile and 200 pages of introduction by Dom Paul Cajun, in Palaeographie Musicale, v. v. Manuals Manual of Lodrino. Bibl. Ambr. Shish. IV, 44, 10th or 11th century. Imperfect. Described by Magistretti. Mon. Vet. Lit. AMB. 2, 18. Manuale Ambrosianum. Belonging to the Marchese Trotti, 10th or 11th century. Imperfect. Magistretti. Mon. Vet. Lit. AMB. 2, 19. Manuale Ambrosianum. BIBL. AMBR, CIII, SUP, 10th or 11th century. Imperfect. Magistretti. Mon. Vet. Lit. 
AMB 220 Manuale Ambrosianum from the Church of Cernusco between Monza and Lecco BIBL AMBR I 55 SUP 11th century Magistrati Mon Vet Lit AMB 228 Manuale Ambrosianum from the Church of San Vittore al Teatro Milan BIBL AMBR A 1 INF 12th century Magistrati Mon Vet Lit AMB 222 Manuale Ambrosianum from the Church of Brivio near the Lecco end of the Lake of Como BIBL AMBR I 27 SUP 12th century Magistrati Mon Vet Lit AMB 230 Topic Rituals Liber Monocorum S. Ambrosi. Bibl. Ambr. Xcvi. Sup. 11th century. Magistrati. Mon. Vet. Lit. Amb. 2. 33. 79-93. Ritual Ambrosianum. From the Church of S. Laurentiolus in Porta Versalina, Milan, Sacra. Metrop. H. 62. 13th century. Magistrati. Mon. Vet. Lit. AMB 237 143 to 171 Beryl dis Novus Chapter Library Milan 13th century Magistrati Mon vet lit AMB 17 94 to 142 Osti ritual BIBL Mazarine 525 10th century Described by Gastuay in Resegna Gregoriana 1903 this, though from the old province of Milan, is not Ambrosian, but has bearings on the subject. Ceremonial. Calendarium et ordens ecclesia Ambrosianae. Beroldus, Bibl, Ambr, I, 158, inf, 12th century. Published by Magistrati, 1894. Topic. Pontificals Pontificale Mediolanensis Ecclesia. Chapter Library, Milan, 9th century. Printed by Magistretti, Mon. Vet. Lit. AMB. I. Pontificale Mediolanensis Ecclesia, Chapter Library, Milan, 11th century. Magistretti, Mon. Vet. Lit. AMB. 1. 27. Ordo Ambrosianus ad Consecrandum Ecclesiam et Altair, Chapter Library, Luca, 11th century. Printed by Mercati, Studi e Testi of the Vatican Library, 7. Topic Ambrosian Service Books Some editions of the printed Ambrosian Service Books, Missals, pre baromian 1475, 1482, 1486, 1488, 1494, 1499, 1505, 1515, 1522, 1548, 1560, Street. Charles Borromeo, 1594, F. Borromeo 1609 to 18, Monti 1640, Lita 1669, Fed. Visconti 1692, Archinti 1712, Pozzabinelli 1751, 1768, Phil. Visconti 1795, Geisruck 1831, Ferrari 1902. Breviaries, pre baromian 1475, 1487, 1490, 1492, 1507, 1513, 1522, and many others, Street. Charles Borromeo, 1582, 1588, Pozzabinelli, 1760, Galsrick, 1841, Romili, 1857, Ferrari, 1896, 1902. Rituals, N. D. Cirque, 1475, a copy in Bodelwian, 1645, 1736, 1885. Psalters, 1486, 1555. Ceremonials, 1619, 1831. Lectionary, 1660 Litanies, 1494, 1546, 1667, the editions of the Missals, 1475, 1751, and 1902, Breviaries, 1582 and 1902, Ritual, 1645, both Psalters, both Ceremonials, the Lectionary, and Litanies are in the British Museum. Topic English translations We give you thanks and praise.
The Ambrosian Eucharistic Prefaces, translated by Alan Griffiths, first published by the Canterbury Press, Norwich, a publishing imprint of Hymn Ancient and Modern Limited, a registered charity St. Mary's Woods, St. Mary Plain, Norwich, Norfolk. This is an English translation of the 200 proper prefaces at present used with the Eucharistic prayers of the Ambrosian Rite. The Revised Divine Liturgy According to Our Holy Father Ambrose of Milan Vols 1 and 2, by Bishop Michael Scotto Daniello and published by CreateSpace, Amazon. This is a missalette and a book of prefaces for the Ambrosian Rite. The Divine Liturgy of St. Ambrose, as authorized by the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia. Topic see also Ambrosian's Rite of the Nivola Topic Notes Topic References Dizionario di Liturgia Ambrosiana Marco Navoni ed. Milan, 1996. ISBN 88-7023-219-0. Griffiths, Allen. 1999. We Give You Thanks and Praise. Canterbury Press. ISBN 1-58051-069-8. A. Ratti, M. Magistretti, Missal Ambrosianum Duplex, Mediolani 1913 Missal Ambrosianum Iuxta Ritum Sancte Ecclesia Mediolanensis, Ex Decreto Sacro Sancto Oecumenici Concilii Vaticani II Instauratum, Octoritate Ioannis Columbo Sancte Romanae Ecclesia Presbyter Cardinalis Archiepiscopi Mediolanensis Promulgatum, Mediolani 1981 Messale Ambrosiano Seconda Il Rito della Santa Cise di Milano. Reformato a norma dei decreta del Concilio Vaticano II. Promulgato dal Signor Cardinale Giovanni Colombo, Arcivescovo di Milano, Milano 1976 Messale Ambrosiano Festivo. PM, 1986. ISBN 88-384-1421-1. The Revised Divine Liturgy According to Our Holy Father Ambrose of Milan, Volume 1 2014, Create Space, Amazon ISBN 978-1497509573 The Revised Divine Liturgy According to Our Holy Father Ambrose of Milan, Volume 2, 2014, Create Space, Amazon ISBN 978-1499652451 Attribution This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Jenner, Henry 1907. Ambrosian Liturgy and Rite. In Herbermann, Charles. Catholic Encyclopedia. 1. New York, Robert Appleton. Topic. External links Catholic Encyclopedia article Ambrosian Rite Resources The Ambrosian Rite in Italian Ordinary of the Mass, English translation published in 1909